Hey folks, so if you're subscribed to this channel, there is a certain chance that you have at least a passing interest in historical arms and armor and martial arts. You know, it just seems somehow plausible. And if you do, there is a book that I would very highly recommend you read. The title of this book is going to make Matt Easton have to change his pants, because it is historical European martial arts in its context. And you know, that's what this is all about. How were historical European martial arts used, well, in duels, in warfare, tournaments, self-defense, etc. It's also about the historical manuscripts that talk about the techniques and all of that. And this book is by Richard Marsden, whom I've met a couple of times and uh, whom you may also have seen in some of my videos. Uh, he's a great guy, very knowledgeable, excellent fighter too, and he really has a knack for, well, teaching, because he just so happens to be a history teacher, and he's good at that. So this book is really, really good if you want to get a better idea of how and where people fought and some of the rules and laws regarding particularly dueling. You know, sometimes when people think about the Middle Ages, they have this idea of, of kind of a doggy dog, almost lawless state. But dueling, particularly private dueling, was actually outlawed through you know, in a lot of places and most of, of history. The judicial duel was a different story. It was highly regulated. And this is what... He starts out with, in the book, there's a lot of information about you know, where it came from, like the origins of the duel in Germanic law and custom, the ways in which they were <laughs> orchestrated, I almost want to say, you know, some of the ritualized ways in which the duel was done. And what I really appreciate here is that there are plenty of examples, you know, actual historical accounts of what happened in a particular duel, how the combatants acted, and uh, some of the, the things that led up to the duel. So uh, there's a lot here about the penalties as well on dueling and how monarchs try to enforce the ban on dueling or you know how they administ administrated judicial dueling things like that and also it goes through um not just middle ages but also later time periods you know up to 18th and, and part of 19th century even and uh then we've also got what's the next chapter here yeah self-defense of course is also a big part of it. That's a very different setting, really. Uh, a, especially a judicial duel would be highly regulated. A private duel you know, for honor would also be highly ritualized and regulated. There would be plenty of kind of unwritten laws, if you will, because uh, the, the civilian private duel was illegal, but uh, people had certain customs regarding that and there's plenty about that. Uh, Self-defense set is a different scenario where there's a, a an unlawful attack. Lots of historical images here, as well as photos and maps as well. And uh, so this is really this is not about particular techniques that were used. No, not like in um, in his Polish saber book. There's, uh, there's more about particular techniques. This is really about, well, the context, as the title says. Uh, also talks a bit about the weapons, you know, long sword, rapier, uh, in the different time periods, 14th century with sword and buckler, 15th century, uh, fiore, long sword, then, yeah, what's the rapier, of course, Polish saber, a little bit of that. And yes, then there is a chapter about the historical fencing masters and their manuscripts. So here is you know, some basics about you know, when they wrote and who it was who wrote and, and some of the, the things they focused on. That was a bit comparatively. So you have, you get a better idea of which 
masters you might want to look into if you're interested in a particular style of fighting or a particular weapon. Uh, things like that and some general tactics. Also, the different countries. You know, um, England, for example, doesn't have anywhere near as much as Italy or Germany. But there is there's a few words about that as well. George Silver, of course, is mentioned and, uh, yeah, goes all the way up to small sword fencing. So lots of different periods covered and plenty of good material here. So I've very much enjoyed reading the book and I would highly recommend checking this out. You know, this is the kind of thing there he's exactly, Marsden is exactly the right kind of person to ask about this because, you know, as said, history teacher and he's got a degree in land warfare uh, whereas you know my focus has always been more on the the practical sides of you know how does a certain weapon handle and how does it disperform against that uh, things like that I don't focus as much on the history part you know on the you know what happened and how people acted and all of this you know historical events but yeah, if you're interested in that sort of thing, definitely check out the book. There will be a link down below. I'm also going to link to his book about the Polish Sabre. And uh, might as well add a couple of other books too, which I really like. Like Mike Lode's Swords and Swordsman, for example. It's always good to have you know, a good library that covers the basics. And uh, yeah, that's it for right now. Hope you found it interesting and thanks for watching. By the way, if you're not seeing a video of mine in your subscriptions every other day, that's a common issue and you can try clicking the bell next to where it says subscribe to get notifications for every video. And if you're interested in channel merchandise, there will be links to my Spreadshirt and Teespring stores as well.